All right, kidney three is between the medial malleolus and the Achilles tendon. Oh, he's gonna get needled. Okay, so I'm just marking. He's just I know you you can't see it as clearly, but I'm just gonna mark with, with the tube. Okay. Okay, so that's kidney three, and then we want to find kidney seven, which is too soon up from from kidney three. So I just use my finger and I just slide up. Okay. Um, my finger kind of stops here. I want to be right up against the um, anterior edge of the Achilles tendon here. And then, you know, I want to check. So, you know, um, I can just check. This is about too soon here, you know. This is, this is kidney seven right here. And then kidney eight is just half a soon anterior to kidney seven. Um, you know, more on the posterior border of the um, tibia here. So it's seven, eight. Okay. Nine is going to be um, five soon up from from kidney three. Yeah. So I just slide up here. As I go up here, like there's a, it's almost like a muscle that, um, or you know, it's running diagonally across my path, so it stops me from really proceeding further. So I'm just going to mark that as about where I think kidney 9 is, but maybe it should be a little bit higher, yeah? Because if this is um, medial malleolus, this is the knee, it's about uh, 15 sun, so this is about a third of that distance. So it should be a little bit higher than that, okay? So about here. This is a, probably a better place to locate kidney 9. I mean, sorry, um, yeah, kidney 9. So three, seven, eight, nine is right here. Okay, ten is gonna be. Um, I'm just gonna bend your knee slightly this way. I'm sorry. Okay. So it would be better if I like had a pillow, but just for this, I'm gonna hold the knee. Okay. So right now I'm um, plucking the uh, semi tendinosis. I can kind of feel that pretty clearly. I just go um, um, medially over that, and then I fall into that depression. Um, I know it's, it's hard to see, but kidney 10 is going to be located just um, medial to, just between semitendinosis where my middle finger is and semimembranosis where my index finger is, okay, between those two tendons. Right there. Okay, so three seven, eight, nine up here, ten is over here, okay? All right, now um, on the, sorry, on the ab abdomen and the chest, so again, um, the abdominal line for kidney channel is just um, half a soon lateral to the midline, okay? Half a soon is really pretty narrow, so like if, if I put my thumb right on the, um, like right on his umbilicus and then I use either side of that, that's like half a soon right there. That's why they use sometimes the lateral edge of the umbilicus because, you know, it is almost where the um, half soon line should be. Okay, so I'm just going to find like kidney 16. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So kidney 16 is like this, yeah? You know, you can barely see that, but, you know, this is like where kidney 16 would be half a soon lateral to the midline, okay, on either side, if you wanted to find that, okay. Kidney, so the abdominal line runs up, just remember there's a two soon skip here, you know, up until kidney 21, and then at the chest, we get to um, the two soon lateral line, um, so on hit, you know, on men, it's easy, you can, you know, visually see where the, nip, the mammillary line is, and just take half of that distance. So, like this would be, um, let's see, uh, three, like 24, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, this would be like kidney 23, like level with the fourth intercostal space, yeah. And two soon lateral to the midline. Um, I won't do all of the points, but, you know, it just runs up until kidney 27, which is two soon lateral to the midline and directly below the, um, the clavicle here. This is kidney 27 here, okay? 
Um, moving on to the pericardium channel. Okay. Pericardium one is in the fourth intercostal space. So again, on men, it's easy. We know where the um, fourth intercostal space is by the, the nipple right here. We're gonna, we're gonna continue following that fourth intercostal space <coughs> about one soon. So pericardium one should be about here. And on both men and women, if you find where the fourth intercostal space is at the, where it joins the sternum, it should level up with um, where pericardium one is here. Okay. So this, well, no, it doesn't really look like superior, but okay. That's pericardium one. Okay. So for <coughs> pericardium two, it's going to be too soon below the anterior axillary fold. Okay. Um, I'm just going to approximate it here. Okay, this distance is 9, so let's see, this is 4.5. This should be about half of that is a little bit more than 2, so about here is a good um, 2 soon. Okay. Um, all right. Actually, I, could, I can feel that depression between the two heads pretty easily, but if you want, you know, this is, this is the... Um, going between the two heads right here. So this would be where um, pericardium 2 would be. Again, if you have a hard time, you can just like grab the, um, the bicep muscle between your middle and thumb, middle finger and thumb, and then use your index finger to kind of find that groove between the two heads. So this is where pericardium 2 would be, between the two heads, about two soon down from the anterior axillary fold. Okay, pericardium 3, um, is at the at the um, transverse cubital crease, and just feel for the tendon of biceps brachii. If you need to, you can flex the elbow just a little bit. If we go um, radial to that, that's going to be lung five. If we go just um, just ulnar to that, that is our pericardium three. You you do have to be careful about the. Um, you know, like right here, there's like a, you know, a bunch of veins right here. So you have to, when you, if you were to actually needle this, you would have to, you know, kind of adjust to avoid those, okay? That's pericardium three, okay? Then we get to pericardium four. You can really see his, um, the tendons here. This is flexor carpi um, radialis. This is palmaris longus. So um, pericardium four is going to be five soon proximal from the wrist. So if this is his elbow crease, wrist crease, we take half of this distance, this is six, yeah? And we just go like about as soon for, um, uh, distal. And I'm just approximating this as five soon. And I mean, you can see his tendon, so you just stay right between them right here. See these, these tendons right here. So this is pericardium four, okay, uh, Shimen. Pericardium 5, Jianxi, is going to be 3 soon proximal. So I'm kind of bending over. But um, this is 3, okay, 3 soon proximal. Let's see, 3, 4, and 5. So this would be about 3 soon. Again, between these two tendons right here. Okay. Um, then the most important point, um, Neguan, is going to be 2 soon. And then we get to pericardium seven, the darling. That's at the wrist crease between these two tendons right here. Again, you have to really watch out for um, the blood vessels right here, you know. But this would be pericardium seven. Sorry, I'm gonna go around and do the last. Actually, let me just do these last two points right here. Okay, so pericardium eight. Um, Again, you can you can have him make a like loose fist, put his middle finger down. This would be about where um, pericardium eight would be. The other thing you can do is again, um, th this is the base of the hand. This is the base of the second finger. Take the approximate midpoint of that, and that would be a good um, pericardium eight. Okay. This is the um, stigmata point. <laughs> okay.
And then the last point is pericardium 9, which is pretty easy, you know, right at the tip of the middle finger right here. Okay. Um, Song Chong. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. All right. Thank you.